Ever wondered how birds and airplanes, despite their vast differences, master the same skies? It's a fascinating dance of physics and precision, where the key players are lift, thrust, drag, and gravity. Birds with their flapping wings and feathered bodies, and airplanes with their roaring engines and sleek designs, both overcome these forces in their own unique ways. Lift propels them upward, thrust moves them forward, and they cleverly reduce drag all while resisting gravity's pull. Whether feathered or steel, the mastery of these forces enables both birds and airplanes to conquer the skies. How does a bird or an airplane defy gravity and rise into the air? The answer lies in the force we call lift. Let's delve into the science of lift for both birds and airplanes. Birds with their unique wing shape known as airfoils create lift by flapping their wings. This flapping motion generates a pressure difference above and below the wings, resulting in an upward force. On the other hand, airplanes with their fixed wings achieve lift a bit differently. These wings are designed with a curved top and a flatter bottom. As the airplane moves forward, air flows over these wings, moving faster over the top. This faster movement reduces the air pressure above the wing, creating lift. So, whether it's the flapping of a bird's wing or the aerodynamic design of an airplane's wing, both rely on the same fundamental principle. In essence, both birds and airplanes use the same physics of lift to ascend the skies. Propelling forward in the air is not a simple feat. It involves generating thrust and overcoming the resisting force, drag. In the avian world, birds generate thrust through the rhythmic flapping of their wings. Each downward stroke pushes them forward, propelling them through the air. On the other hand, airplanes harness the power of engines to produce thrust. These engines push air backwards, which in turn propels the plane forward. This is an application of Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But the journey doesn't stop at thrust. Both birds and airplanes have to contend with drag, a resistance caused by air. Birds streamline their bodies during flight, aligning their feathers and tucking their feet to minimize drag. Similarly, airplanes are designed with aerodynamics in mind. Their smooth, streamlined bodies are crafted to cut through the air with the least resistance. Whether by feather or engine, thrust propels forward while minimizing drag ensures efficient flight. Gravity. The force that keeps us grounded is a constant challenge for anything wishing to fly. Both birds and airplanes must defy this force to take to the skies. Birds do this by vigorously flapping their wings and leaping or running to achieve the necessary lift. Airplanes, on the other hand, gain speed along a runway, generating enough lift from their fixed wings to overcome gravity's pull. When it comes to landing, birds and airplanes use similar principles, but in different ways. A bird slows down, spreading its tail feathers to increase drag for a controlled descent. An airplane, meanwhile, reduces speed and altitude, extends flaps to increase drag, and gently touches down on a runway. The dance of takeoff and landing, as varied as it might be among birds and airplanes, is a testament to the ingenious adaptations to the forces of flight. So what have we learned about the marvel of flight? We've discovered that birds and airplanes, while vastly different, overcome the same forces to achieve flight, lift, thrust, drag and gravity. They employ unique strategies to generate lift and thrust while minimizing drag and defy gravity through clever design and sheer power. This understanding fuels innovation in aviation, drawing inspiration from the natural mechanics of bird flight. From the humble bird to the mighty airplane, the sky is not the limit, but the playground. Did you enjoy this journey through the science of flight? If you did, don't forget to like and share this video. Your support is the wind beneath our wings, helping us create more content like this. It's our collective curiosity that pushes the boundaries of knowledge and understanding. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world around us. We've got a lot more interesting topics to delve into, and we'd love for you to join us on this journey of discovery. Thank you for watching, and remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.